return to the planet of the apes. was so easy it wasn't even a contest. Waiting for us like sitting ducks. How stupid. Well, at least they'll give us a fresh supply of humanoids for our war games. You know how Erko feels about our work. Certainly I know. Then you will still allow Zira and me to have the six humanoids we require to continue our behavioral study experiments? My word has always been my bond. Nothing has happened to change that. What a thick-brained lout that General Erko is. Shh, Zira. There are gorillas all around us. But he is. Imagine wanting all the humanoids for himself, placing the so-called demand of his guerrilla army over our more important scientific needs. General Urko is responsible for the military defense of the Simian nation. We must admire his dedication to duty. With all due respect, sir... <laughs> We've got to find Bill. Where did the apes take Bill? Where, Nova? Where did the apes take Bill? Well, I've succeeded again, Dr. Zayas. Yes, looks like you have, General. This hunt bagged more humanoid beasts than any before it. Excellent, General Erko. Simply excellent. Well, as I always say, the only good humanoids are caged ones. Or better yet, dead ones. That's your opinion, Urko. I believe much can be learned from humanoids. Learn from them? What rubbish! Humanoids are nothing but a plague. They should be destroyed. Urko, you know full well that if ever even a single humanoid is discovered, to possess the intelligence of real language, then all humanoids will be destroyed. Until then, we will utilize them as we always have. What beautiful eyes. What did you say, dear? The color of this humanoid's eyes. They're so unusual. Hello, blue eyes. 
Would you like to work with Cornelius and me, Blue Eyes? Oh, isn't he beautiful, Dr. Zeus? Beauty is in the eye of the ape beholder, Zira. Dr. Zeus, I'd like Blue Eyes as one of the six humanoids you promised to Cornelius and me. Promised you? There are no humanoids here for you. Dr. Zeus, I'd like Blue Eyes, please. No. Why not, General? I need all the humanoid beasts. Our work details are depleted, and we are staging new war games next week. But there seems to be enough humanoids to divide among all our groups who need them. And we've requisitioned six humanoids for our experiments. Rot on your experiments! And rot on your war games. Silence! It is unseemly for intelligent apes to argue in public. Twenty percent of the remaining captives will go to pet detail. Fifteen percent will be assigned to animal labor detail. Twenty percent of the humanoids will go to the animal replacement preserve. I protest! As you wish, Erko, but my word is law. Today your word is law, Dr. Zeus. But tomorrow, who knows? Tomorrow it just might be us gorillas who are giving the orders, not taking them. I tell you it's true. Blue Eyes has turned out to be an extraordinary specimen. His pattern response tests, mathematical comprehension, and Hopkins manual dexterity are simply remarkable. Now, Zira, aren't you getting a little bit carried away? Not at all, Cornelius. I know what I saw. You make the beast seem almost as smart as we apes, Zira. Oh, I didn't mean to imply that... Well then, Zira, why don't you have the beast demonstrate his brilliance to us? It will be my pleasure, Dr. Zeus. Okay, Blue Eyes, show these doubting simians how smart you are. Amazing. Very impressive. Oh, that's nothing. You should see his mathematical aptitude. I'd like to stay and uh, watch, Zero. But I have an important meeting in the Council of Elders, for which I'm already late. Oh, but Dr. Zeus, I promise you'll be amazed. I'm sure I will be, Zira. But duty does have first call. Good evening. I wish Dr. Zeus could have stayed. If Blue Eyes is so smart, I think you should schedule a probing operation on his brain centers. You're crazy! Operate on my brain! It spoke. The humanoid spoke. I spoke because I can speak. A talking, a talking humanoid. A talking human whose world has been turned upside down. But a talking, reasoning human being, nevertheless. But how? Who? My name is Bill Hudson. I'm an astronaut from another planet in the solar system planet called Earth. Sentry, the Council wishes to express its deepest gratitude to you. Here, 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 Your distinguished act of reporting what you overheard is an example of simian patriotism at its highest. Once again, our thanks, and you may now return to your post. If what the sentry reports is true, we must act immediately. We of this chamber are the only simians who know the real danger humanoids represent. We are the only simians who know that once, long ago, humanoids ruled this planet. Humanoids lorded over all other animals, including we apes. But humanoid greed, humanoid folly, humanoid lust for power caused him to destroy his civilization in a cataclysmic war. And from his dust, 
our great ape society emerged. But it is also written that if humanoids were to regain the intelligence of language, they would once again become masters of this planet and would once again destroy it. Here, 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 here. He and all humanoids must be destroyed immediately. Gods, place the militia on full alert. Surround the laboratory. Cornelius, it was the security guard. He must have overheard Blue Eyes talking to us and reported it. Oh, what are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. Surround the building. Guard all the exits. <laughs> This is the only route possible. Why are you doing this? Doing what? Helping me to escape, endangering yourselves. We're not really sure, but I somehow feel that killing you is wrong. Now, this ladder leads to the roof. You might be able to escape, but you must hurry. What about you two? Don't worry about us. We'll think of something. I hope we meet again sometime. Perhaps. Oh, I'm sure we will, Blue Eyes. Now hurry off. Polly! Into the lab! has overpowered them and escaped. The humanoid beast must be captured at once. Our civilization survival depends on it. Take it slow now. Let me get the light on that alley. Hold it. What's that? Ah, uh, false alarm. Just a clothesline. Okay, take us further down. Slow now. Crafty, that's for sure. He could be holed up in an alley or a cellar, any place around here. This beast seems to have almost ape-like intelligence. circle the entire block, Sergeant. No sign of him on the streets I've covered. He's hiding in this area somewhere. I know he is. Maybe the foot patrols have spotted him. Try contacting the East Sector roadblock sentry again. 21 Green to East Sector. Do you read? Over. East Sector. I read, Sergeant. Have the foot patrols relayed anything to you in the past few minutes? Negative, Sergeant. Everything's quiet here at this sector. Double check all vehicles that stop at your post. We might still have him bottled up. 21 green, over and out. No contact made yet, huh? 
Should I search a wider radius? Oh, we patrol our own sector here. It's beginning to look like he slipped past us. It's up to one of the other outfits to grab him now. We've done all we can. I'll take another swing around my block again, Sergeant. Word is General Urko's promised instant promotion to the trooper who nets the savage. beast yet, General? Not yet, but I've got my soldiers well deployed. It will never escape. Debark and deploy! Debark and deploy! Man out! Search every inch of those fields! We must be getting closer, Nova. From the look of things, something important must be going on. Come on, Nova. Let's get down there and try to find Bill. I hear it too, Nova. It must be an ape soldier. Quick! Up into the tree. The ape knows we're here. I'm gonna have to take care of him. Bill! What are you... Jack! How did you... No time. They're right behind me. Let's go. Which way? Here is a light report just handed me. Everything possible is being done to apprehend the escaped humanoid beast. General Erko has given his personal assurance the beast will be captured. Meanwhile, all non-essential simians are ordered to remain indoors. The curfew imposed on Ape City by Dr. Zayas remains in effect. Oh, Cornelius, do you think we did the right thing in letting Blue Eyes go? Maybe he is dangerous. We did the right thing, Zira. Killing merely for the sake of killing is wrong. Even though they're only animals, humanoids have the same right to live as we do. Looks like we lost them. I sure hope so. Sentries, you're both wanted for search detail. But we're the only guards here. Don't worry about the beasts. They're locked in tight for the night. The humanoids down there are doomed for sure if we leave them. Well, then let's do something about it. Just a little more, Bill. We'll make it. Let's go. Let's commandeer that truck. We'll load the prisoners in the back. Good idea. What do you mean the beast got away? Find him! Do you hear me? That's an order! Jeff, what about those wagon cages? What about them? If we leave them, the apes will be able to recapture the humanoids. Not with these wagon cages, they won't. Hurry up! Let's go! Yeah. 
You fool! I didn't mean it literally. Don't you have any brains? You should have left a guard there. How could you be so stupid, leaving the stockade unguarded? Don't you dare call me stupid. I had no idea the beast was in the area. You had no idea? Ha! General, the truck's been spotted moving up the Borough Park Mountain Road. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go! Okay, this looks like a good place. Push! Push it over! Around it! Move around it! We can't, sir. The road is too narrow. Then clear it out of the way! Yes, sir, but it will take a few hours at least. A guerrilla soldier must perform his duty, no matter what the cost. If there was only some way we could help these people defend themselves against the apes. They're nothing but sitting ducks this way. You're right. We should try to find a safer place for them to live. Where? I don't really know. But tomorrow, let's explore some of the terrain around here. We'll head north and see what's out there. The humanoids are going to need fortifications, no matter where they finally settle. Like those boulders. Fitted together and properly placed, they'd make a pretty good defense perimeter. Good enough to give the humanoids a chance to escape whenever the apes attacked. You're dreaming, Jeff. Advanced tools would be needed to cut... Wait a minute. I just thought of something. Our laser drill. We use it for cutting into rock to get core samplings. I'm sure it would slice through those boulders. A lot of good it can do us. It went down in the lake with our spaceship, remember? Sure, I remember. But that doesn't mean we can't try to retrieve it. Hmm, I guess it doesn't. They might have gotten away this time, but I'll get the beasts and make them pay no matter what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> 